This episode is brought to you by Workbox. Getting ready to make a difference. Hinda, welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill. How are you, ghost lady? I'm okay, 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 okay. How are you, Michael G? <sighs> I'm so frustrated right now, man. I'm so annoyed, actually. Is it? Mm. Wow, what's up now? No, I woke up in Your a good knee mood. Is disturbing. <laughs> My knee's disturbing you. <laughs> It just looks like a lump of meat, in <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah. uh-huh, what's up, what happened, what happened? No, no, like, I woke up in a good mood, was excited for the show, and then, like, five minutes before I started recording, because uh, we were meant to record at half past four, and then yeah. I, had, I had a big fight with my girlfriend, so I'm like, ah, I'm so nar now, she just killed my whole vibe. Ay, ay, ay. What, what did you fight about? Ah, fuck, man, I don't know, man. What? <laughs> you know, I can be so proud. Me and my husband have not any fights throughout this lockdown. Like, I'm like, oh wow. I am we have been on our best behavior. I was like, wow. <laughs> eh? Oh man, it's just annoying because she's trying to control every aspect of my life. You get what I'm saying? For example? No, like, 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 you know, um, trying to control what I can and cannot say on the podcast, you know, stuff like that. And the thing is, it's hard to explain to someone who's not an entertainer why I do some of the things that I do. And then when I explain why I do some of the things that I do, and you're so hell-bent on your own beliefs, it's very hard to explain why it is that you do what you do. Do you hear what I'm saying? Okay, I get you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's... But let's you talk. guys just need to talk. Ah, talking is not helping. It's not helping at this time. Yeah, go for counseling then. Counseling? <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not that deep, yo. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's chat to Londi here. Yebo. All right. Londi. What's Londi? up? How are you? Yebo, Londi? yebo. I'm good, man. I'm good. Where are you from? How are you, Londi? I'm good, Lucas Lady. How are you? We good. Where you from? Um, I'm from Durban. Hey, but, how's, how's them title up? Yeah. No, <laughs> I'm from Durban, but I'm based in Soweto right now. Oh, yeah. oh. where in Soweto? Uh, Dube. Yeah. Dube. Okay, cool. And then let me let me oh. ask you something. Are you in a relationship at the moment? Are you dating someone? <laughs> I am seeing someone, I think. And have you guys had a fight this lockdown? It was just one time. I, there was just a communication breakdown and like, yeah. Just what just happened? It, what wasn't, happened? it wasn't like a big deal. I said something. I thought I was joking and he took offense to it. It was nothing <laughs> major. <laughs> what did you say? He's dick is small. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, man. Um, he sent me a joke. Uh, I think, yeah, he sent me a joke on WhatsApp. And I, I don't know. I don't know. I just didn't find it funny. And I was like, ah, sick. And it's like, don't ever speak to me. Don't ever say that to me. I was like, okay, wait, hold up. It's just like, it's not that deep. And he just took offense. I don't see anything wrong with me saying that. I was like, okay, whatever. Where is he from? Huh? Where is he from? He is, he, he's from here. He's, there, he's from here. No, I'm just saying, is he Zulu? Venda? Yes, he's Zulu. Twana, yeah, or... Then he's got a small dick. <laughs> well, it makes sense. Oh, sh- <laughs> shut up. Not even, hey? <laughs> no, Zulu is like too sensitive, you know? 
Yeah, that whole respect. You should have responded with, "Oh, Baba, we are shaggies." <laughs> I know the follow the following day. You know what happened? The following day, uh, when I greeted him, I greeted him. Um, yes, Parazel, and I. Hey. That's sort of, Oh, you know what is hot. Yeah, of course. And have you seen him during the you, you, lockdown? No. I'm scared. I, I know people can move around like so way too, but I'm really, really scared. I'm just oh. like, no, oh, I'm not doing that. And he's also in Soweto. Mm. Oh, wow. Hey, you guys, we should clap for you. <laughs> it, it hasn't been easy, bro. It hasn't no, been... for the fact that you are both in Soweto, you like, uh, you know, yeah, no, I applaud you, Shen. No, but you we, need a we've, horn. We've, we do, we do. <laughs> we've tr- we've we spoke about we spoke about it. We're like, I mean, we can move around, and I, I, for some weird reason, we're like, actually, no, let's not do. It. Let's be we better than this. Aren't yeah, you scared? Yeah. Aren't you scared he's gonna be busy with other girls? I don't care, but he's an adult, man. If he decides to do that, that's that's it's his prerogative. He's an adult. Mm. I can't I can't be scared of such things. Also, I can't be mad at someone who, who made it decision. You're an adult, you sat down, you made a decision. Why must I be mad at you? Do whatever. Yeah, true, true, true. But I don't yeah. think I can go that long without seeing my girl, man. That's way too long. Ah uh, well. What can we say? We live on sending pictures now and send uh, yeah. Let me not continue. <laughs> oh, so you send him news. Live on that. No, hey, Nikki. Hey, that's that's the Nikki. By the way, Ghostlady, do you still send Moving your husband right news? Do you still send your husband news, Ghostlady? Ah, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> you should. You should, Ghostlady. <laughs> <laughs> the tasteful ones, though, not 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 you know the the, the tasteful kind. But with every time I when I I remember the last time I said you'll be like, I'm, okay, I'll see it later. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it blue ticks you. That I'm like ah. <laughs> How is lockdown treating you guys? Ah, uh, that question now, it's just, it's like, how's, how's the weather? Same old, same old. <laughs> right? Yeah. Just, I'm, pr- I'm proud of myself. We're waiting I'm for stage four. Let's see now. stage four. Maybe ask. You haven't been drinking for how long, Maxi? Been two, I'm going on my second week now, so I'm proud of myself. I, I think this lockdown was for me, for me to stop drinking. I'm freaking proud of myself. Five weeks wow. in, no single drop of alcohol. So no no alcohol no dick yeah no. Hey Joe hey Joe hey I'm gonna come out here a new person McGee focus bigger peach I can greater see. good Baba you are even glow focus chief focus chief I'm gonna come out here a better person. Oh Lord well, thank guys. you so much thanks for calling through ne. Thank you guys. Thank you, Londi. Take care. Bye. Oh, man. She's a saint, eh? Hey, goes lady. No, she, she oh, that's strong. good. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know how I would cope. Yeah, me like, too. I, I actually know, was thinking yeah. about it. If I was single at this time, I know, she, mm-mm, I, mm-mm. Uh, let's I don't think. To, let's chat to Oscar. Oscar's next. Oscar. Yes. Yes, yes, how are you? In the army. Hello, Oscar. No. Hey, hey, how are you, uh, ghost lady? Hey, I am good, Oscar. Yeah. Um, where, where, where are you from, happy Oscar? Happy Freedom Day, by the way. Oh, yes, Happy Freedom uh, Day. Wow, Happy Freedom <laughs> Day, wow. <laughs> ah. Yeah. There's no Although freedom, no, though. There's no freedom when we're not locked up here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, even no, in my household so now, there's no freedom in this house. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm from I'm from uh you probably you probably Zimauli, yeah, Tando. Oh in Vatando? Originally. Yeah, originally, but now I, I, I reside in Rustin Lake. I've been staying here for, for five years now. Yeah. That's no. I like. Don't don't yeah. don't date a Rustenberg girl, man. Just an advice. Ah! 
Don't you think that the, 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 the advice is coming quite late now? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been five years, man. <laughs> so you've I been in a relationship late. for five years? No I'm, no, I'm saying his advice is coming in late because I've been here for five years. So oh. assuming that he wouldn't have dated here for five years, it would be... How, how is the lockdown? Oh, yeah, that's one that you pick right now. Um, I, it's, it's quite hectic, eh? The, the, the uh, soldiers and police on the, on the roads. I, I can all, I, I stay in the, this side of us in the coast, close to the end for in um, Waterfall East. So I only go to the mall sometimes if I need to get food and everything. But I don't know how it is by the CBD, but I hear like in the, inside the CBD, it's just business as usual. People just flocking in from townships and so on. Yeah, I heard so, because a friend of mine who stays in Rustenburg was telling me that, um, you know, there's parties and it's just life as normal. Nothing has changed. Parties. Yeah, and, and uh, they're selling us this for quite ridiculous prices. What is that? No, this is gin. What is for 600? Connections. Oh. Ha! Jeez, 600? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> you guys are in VIP, yeah. most. In a club in VIP. <laughs> I hope it came with that. It was brought with girls who were wearing just uh, some sexy lingerie. Oh, and lights. And, and lights. No, 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 and fire lights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But how do you buy alcohol in the black market? Like, is there a website, is there a WhatsApp line? How do you get this? <laughs> you get it through, through connections. Probably if you, obviously you, you have friends who, I have friends around here who, who know people around. So guys, I think guys from the townships are still really operating. They are the taverns and then um, beer stores. Well, but then I hope you won't, Post this because uh, you're gonna get me in trouble now. Ah, it's too late, Oscar. <laughs> it's too late. We are live. <laughs> oh, jeez. And, and then, do they deliver yeah. or do you have to pick up the alcohol? So, some. That's why it comes with the price. If they bring it to you, then you have to uh, to pay, for, obviously, for the transport, and it's risky for them. But then, if you you say meet them halfway, then they they cut the price and so if, if you, you go meet, there then if you, if you meet them halfway and there's cops involved who goes to jail then the one who the cops finds with the alcohol so if Say, they find if, you you go to jail i, I got i had to go to jail because i'm not allowed to, to be to have alcohol in my car but at least if it's in my house now then i, I could have bought it before the lockdown but then if i get unlucky and then get stopped on the on on the side of the road and then they ask me bro where, where did you get that then i i have to 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 speak another language with them yeah hey, that gin must be worth but it yeah that's <laughs> that's yeah I, could, I couldn't i couldn't wait for imagine the a month without no you couldn't i, I was <clears throat> This morning when I woke up on the Twitter, I saw like Michali and uh, was, was um, people was, were, were, were tweeting about Michali. This, this issue about, I don't know if maybe uh, what if I get a, a woman perspective on, 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 on uh, the gap that, that is there between a guy and, and, and um, um, lady. Say, for instance, Meji, you are, you are, you are, you are, 30 or whatever what is the what according to to you a ghost lady would you say is a an acceptable age difference well what between, happened though uh, why, why was mitlali trending what happened the, mitlali ghost apparently lady there's, there's a guy who posted yeah there's a guy there's a guy i can't, I can't remember his, his name he posted um, a, a video of of a, of a lady and then they say that lady is 15 and then the, the guy is trending. Mm -hmm. So people are saying you know, that is, isn't that pedophilia because she is um, a young girl, obviously she's less than... She's underage, yes. She's underage. 
but then he is 20, yes. so the difference is five. So Michaelis sort of was approved of that. He said, but then you guys look at your parents, for instance, some of you, your parents have got age difference of 15, 20, then. But then how, yeah. where do we draw uh, the line? Like, do you, do you say this is pedophilia? Does it only apply when, do you call it pedophilia when it's, it's just the teens that are dating or it's only pedophilia when someone who is way older gets involved? I guess by law, you know what, at the end of the day, it is mm. pedophilia, you know, because you, you, you are literally sleeping with someone under age, that is under age by law, and, you know. But obviously, yeah. I think where the stress needs to happen is also in schools and when kids are growing up, young girls and boys and themselves. And yeah. it must be something that is, it then should be a, big, a, a much bigger awareness. I think in that field, a lot of people are very quiet about it. And I can imagine if you think back, when I was in high school, I necessarily never dated older guys, but I knew of girls who were dating, let's say, guys, he's 23, he's what, what, it's very common, you know? And the 15 year old yeah. is very happy that I like my, I don't like these boys, and you know, already in, in that mindset. So it's, it's, it, it, it needs to be another whole, whole campaign, and like it needs to, this is illegal, it is wrong, it's something you can't even flaunt about, you know? Yeah, so... But that has been I, happening yeah. for years. Like, young girls have been being groomed for, like, years now. Thank you. Yes, that's the thing. It has been happening way from way back. I mean, it, you just look at our like parents. look at the girls who date. Yeah? That's what um, um, Michele was uh, saying. But then, uh, knowing Black Twitter, they were on, his, on, on a case. And she was saying, like, this thing has been happening. Uh, like, you... you those are, your 16, 15 year old uh, girls used to date guys who are safe, first year in varsity or do you call that pedophilia? Because they're basically they are the same age. But like you are saying, Goslade, I, I, I believe it also has to deal with the legality of it. If you are 18 and yeah. above, you to, what, know that you, you can't go be, below that uh, legal age. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. So my thing no, then no, becomes. Yes, we start to. So my thing then becomes, uh, 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 what is the way forward? Because I remember when I was in high school, when I was in grade eight, all the matrix were dating. Actually, no, all the grade eight girls were dating matrix. Matrix boys, exactly. You know. Mm, so there's, this, it's almost like there's an achievement to it for even young girls to get a guy who is much older, you know, and then obviously then much older is being, you know, late teens, early twenties, you know, that's now another subject if it's way up, further, 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 like thirties, no way. But even then, just because it was something that we saw it happen, it doesn't mean it was saying it is right. So that's why do we need to go back and it's like, it's something that needs to be really spoken and like, spoken against of you know have the campaigns like let's at the schools they must put in all the kids minds that listen if you are dating someone who is over 18 you are you know you are putting yourself into trouble that, and also yeah. that person will also be into trouble Oscar why are you asking yeah, us that's what are, you, are, you grooming something? are you grooming someone not <laughs> no, 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 not, not, not at all. Ah, they, <laughs> <laughs> Are you no. looking at a young one? Then I'm, I'm, <laughs> not, not at, no, I don't, I, 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 I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. No, jokes, man, jokes, it's jokes. My, my, the age difference between myself and my girlfriend, she's actually five years older than me, but then she's, she's above 18, well, way above 20, so, yeah. So, I'm, no, I wouldn't do oh. that, not. I don't know if I might have done it if, if I look back and but I never thought of it in that legal way that I was actually because when I was doing my first year I was my my girlfriend was was in high school and she was mm -hmm. she was not yeah. 18 yet so I don't know then I was a pedophile then I don't know but I, ne I had never thought of it that way so I I, I really sympathize yeah. with the guy it never really, it never really clicked. It, and then when people started uh, discussing, and then that's why you see that it's actually 
illegal if you think of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Oscar. Thank you so much for the call, bro. Cheers, cheers. Thank um, you Jim. so much, Oscar. Well done, well done, by the way. Cheers. Well done on on what? On 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 on, uh, on your on your channel, man. It's it's growing every day, stride oh. by stride. You're gonna we're getting there. Oh, yeah. thank you, thank you. Yeah, Appreciate yeah. it, man. One love. Man. <laughs> sure. Cheers. All right, cool. I thought Bye. we got a video. Okay. I thought you were saying congratulations because we got a video that hit a million views or something. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you're disappointed now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's chat to Gilbert. Gilbert. My brother. Linda, what do you mean? What's your honor, Rina? Ah, I can't tell you. I'm going to go to Cape Town. I'm going to go to Cape Town. Yeah, the lockdown keep turning off. Ah, go we have a streak. Seriously? Ah, yeah, it's routine again. Eva, now routine again. Routine. Eh, it's go we have a mus. Ah, it's go we have one. Very strict. Oh, anyway, I forgot. Uh, ghost ladies. Hey, hey, enda, enda, ghost lady. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm reading the subtitles. Don't worry. No, no, it's a type. Subtitles just rolling down here. It's okay. It's okay. No, I uh, asked him how crazy. Uh, I asked him how crazy Cape Town is. He says he said uh, they're only allowed to go out once a week. Yeah, Wednesday it's hectic. Yeah, Wednesday it's hectic. Once a week. Yeah. So how do they control it? How do they see that you have not gone out uh, today? I don't know. Is there I think there? there's no register, but I think. Uh, they just, there's, there's always people around, so they can see him. So, oh, okay, this one is always out. This one is playing. So they see there are always soldiers and everyone around. Are you? You know what? So I've not seen a soldier ever since. <laughs> I feel so deprived. Like there's no so I've not seen a soldier, guys. What are you trying to say um, about Mnaga? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 you <laughs> my men are you are you in the suburbs or are you in the township? In the suburbs. Oh, so you by the white people. Yeah, so that's the problem. That's <laughs> the problem. But, <laughs> but, but that camera looks like you in Google Google it too. <laughs> <laughs> the angle. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look HD. Show us outside there. That doesn't look HD, Chief. <laughs> I make sure it. <laughs> Take a front view. Let's see outside. Let's see uh, the, 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 the suburb. Here. <laughs> Show us a white person. We are not outside. It's our people that is outside. Okay. Oh. All right. Thanks a lot for the call, Gilbert. All right. <laughs> <laughs> See. Thanks, Gilbert. Bye. Oh man. All right. Should we take one more? Yeah, let's take one more. Okay, let's take boom. Let's see who is boom. Gilbert is like, did you see it looks like he's in the mkuku there? <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> All right. No, in fact, boom. the roof, the roof I saw uh, you know tiles. What yeah. is it? That uh, iron cast. That what is it? Utayela. <laughs> All right, boom. Okay, cool. While we wait for boom, what else has been happening? You know, I'm so I'm not focused today on the show. Let me see what I wanted to talk about. Mm. Oh yes, I wanted to talk about the Fergusons. What, what's going on with the Fergusons, man? The Fergusons. Mm. You know that Dineo. Uh, I don't know. Is it Dineo? Is your new surname now? She got married to Solo. Oh yeah, Langa. Muy kids. So basically she got fired. Yeah, she's out of the queen. Do you watch the queen? No, I don't. I used to watch the queen. It used to be nice way back. We know when it started. And then it just started like, I was like, but anyway, I'm not a fan of soap I hate having to sit through something every day, you know? And then what? But uh, nonetheless, was she yeah, so she got fired. Was she a big character, like a, a, one of the stars on the show? She played the daughter. She played the daughter, Kia. Yes, that's her name. Mm. Kia. She played the daughter of a uh, Connie. 
mm. or Harriet. Mm. She's the yeah the lead actress there. So yeah, Connie Ferguson. And yeah, yep. So now she's fired. And you know, obviously, there's a lot of people that have left the show or got fired and what are, what are, what are all these stories. But you know, for me, what I always say is that I think, have we put too much power and on all our hope on the Fergusons? Like now they have to carry the industry. Mm. You understand? Then now we're going to be pissed every day. Oh, someone gets fired or someone is unhappy in their production. Why isn't there more productions out there? You understand, yeah. but also it just seems like they're having a lot of casualties because every time they're trending lately, it's always for someone getting fired, a big star, you know. Uh, I think I just I would love to hear their what uh, from their points. What is the issue? You know, if they actually spoke out and said these are the difficulties and having to pay people, this is only how much we make, and at the end of the day, you know, like all that, because there's always two sides of a story. But don't you so think the for them being, don't you think for them because they've been talent like mostly Connie for example has been talent all her life. Surely she should yes. handle and deal with talent better than she is now. But that's the thing, you know. It's it's easy to say that like just because I have been a cleaner, like I clean, 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 clean. But the day I have my own cleaning company, employ other cleaners, and now because now there's an there's another position you are in. You know, so yes, as much as I can be understanding and all of this, but the work needs to be done. And mm. because of this is only what I'm receiving from this work, I can only pay you so much. Yeah. And, and this is a whole story that no, they squander money and all of this. And okay, that's another story. But maybe they get a million and then they say, okay, all these actors we have, we can only spend 200K on them, meaning each actor must get 10K, you know? Mm. I don't know. Mm. Until you get the whole picture, then yeah, we, we would know. Uh, where were you when you heard Kim Jong Un has died? So is it is it really true, man? Hey, I don't know. I'm confused because I saw it on TMZ first, but I was watching CNN last night and they were saying he's in good health. So I don't know. What's going Thank on. you. It's 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 it's, it's, too, it's conflicting. Thanks. I saw it as it just started trending. Like when was it? it was on Saturday, ne? Mm. When it's, uh, first the news broke, then it was like, wait, it seemed like no one was sure. So maybe they are hiding him. They, or the keyboard Trump. Okay, but anyway, so I don't want any. The Daily Express says Kim Jong-un shown in glass coffin, inducted funeral picture amid claims leaders dead. And then there's another one that says North Korean media publishes letter from Kim Jong-un to South Africa's pres president. How? Oh. <laughs> I mm -mm. no the story. I think no. If he is, maybe they can't really say, or there's still some battles going on, or maybe he's just alive, or maybe it's America. You know America. Hmm. Hmm. I told you guys. <laughs> Let's not start with the conspiracy theories. North Korean state media on Monday published a letter from the country's leader, Kim Jong-un, to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa congratulating him on, on Freedom Day. CNN has no way of independently verifying the authenticity of the letter and has reported conflicting beliefs by various government officials on Kim's health, on Kim's health condition in the past week. So no one knows. No, no one knows. It's just all speculation. It's just a mystery. There's just a whole mystery around it. Like, um, no one knows. Until we see him talk on TV. Let's just wait. All right, cool. It's time for a new segment called Netflix and Chill on Podcast and Chill. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that sounds like you put in a lot of thought into that. <laughs> Uh, so I'm about to tell you what I'm watching on Netflix. I what is it about? No, I noticed every week we're always talking about shows that we watch on Netflix. So this week I'm going to tell you what I've been watching. Uh, it's a movie called Chovicho. Proudly local. Fucking amazing. Have you seen it? Uh, no. I saw, I, I, I saw it on... Yeah, I'm going to go back and check it out. Chovicho. Yes, it stars um, the lead actress. Ne? I mean, lead actor. He's a very famous guy. He does a lot of soapies. Warren Masemula. 
Warren, yes. Actually, I tried watching it. You're right. Oh, that I see, yeah. but I just I just left it because it was just too much swearing, and my son was lingering around, so I, I I stopped. So I actually have to go back and watch it. Yeah, yeah. Oh fuck, man! It's amazing. So the, when I saw it, now the first like ten fifteen minutes, it reminded me of user user, like the cinematography. Um, I don't know the yes. kind of grading, but yes. how they shot it yes. is very. It's so cool, and I was excited just to see a South African content on Netflix. So I was like, "Fuck, let me watch this," and I ended up clapping it the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah, it's so dope, man. I recommend people to check it out. But it's about like uh, these dance crews, oh, okay. like Pantula dance crews in the hood. And they all have different struggles, like each character has different yeah. struggles. So each episode, they try and highlight what each character is going through. But ultimately, at the end, they're supposed to have this battle. And, you know, they, they, so they're gearing up to the battle. Oh! Yeah, but it's dope. The way it's shot, the acting, like, fuck, it's phenomenal. And I'm just so it's a series, it's yeah. not a movie. Yeah, yeah, series, yes, yes. Trovicho, yes, it's a series, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. And okay. you, Ghost Lady, what would you recommend? What have you been watching on Netflix? Um, well, I did stumble upon some movies, but then I'd fall asleep and not finish. So I can't talk much about them. But there was this, like, I mentioned it earlier, Too Hot to Handle, basically, name. Yes. Did you check it out? Did you ever watch it? No, no, no. My woman's watching that. Or should I say my ex? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what? I've heard this from you all the time. You know, when you guys will fight, you'll be like, you know what? I don't think I have a woman anymore. <laughs> Next week, you know my woman. I'm like, oh, these two. <laughs> so I'm never just touched by your fight. <laughs> yeah. It's how you guys tickle each other. <laughs> it, makes your, it makes your relationship stronger. No, yeah. but, but anyway, too hard to handle. What happens is these, it's these guys come into this house, right? So obviously it's these, they've been chosen and all they just, basically what they have in common, they, these people just like to have sex. So they have no, they've never been in any like, committed relationship. It's only just about sex, only to find out in this, it's hot guys, right? Hot guys and girls. And then jiggy jiggy, they are told what the rules is that there's no touching, no sex. They actually must form like proper solid relation inside there. So it's like it becomes when you start seeing people having to remove the whole, just it's all in about sex and having to talk, engage. That was cute. Oh, wow. And then you see who falls in love at their end. Yeah. So it's, under, it's kind of like, um, what's that show where they match two people together based on... Um, and you must go in, they go in the house and you must find who your match is. The perfect match. Yeah, there was another, yeah, I think Love is Blind was there. But this one is almost like in reverse. So no, it's like man. you'll match not yourself. Love, not Love is Blind, it was on MTV. The perfect match, it's like they get these strangers and... Oh, perfect like, match, yes. Yes, I, I, yeah, 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 I know that one. I think it's perfect match. Perfect match, no, let me just check. Are you, are you, are you the one? Are you the one? Yeah. I, the one, yes, yes. Oh, so it sounds like Are You the One, but with the twist, yes. Mm. But with, yes, it's got a big twist, mm. and then they can't touch because you're gonna lose money. There's money, and every time someone kisses or touches, the money is like deducted. So it's it's so funny. <laughs> oh, cool. oh man, so it's so, actually so cute. Is that the show couples would should watch, ne? Yeah, or anyone for that matter. It just it just brings another perspective in love, and actually seeing a, a, a people who literally never believed in love, and they all they just want is to fuck. That's it, you know. <laughs> and then now they have to literally just have to say, okay, let, what's your name? What's your favorite color? And like, oh, ooh, you know, yeah. go on a date, and then then just try to to find love. All right, cool. Ghost Lady, uh, yeah, man, thank you so much, man. It's been another awesome episode. Uh, what are you going to do now after when, when I drop? What are you going to be up to? <gasps> you know what I did just before we recorded? Mm. I went to pick some mealies in the garden. So there's a nice pot bubbling with mealies. So I'm Ooh. just going to eat lovely mealies for dinner. Is that you? I can smell from them from my here. Cousin. Yes. I can smell them, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's from my garden. Can you believe it? Oh, wow. <laughs> Must be nice. That's how the 1% yeah, lives. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh, wow. The 1% eating millies from their garden. That just sounds like a fun. <laughs> That village, one percent. <laughs> is 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 Susan Loma your so neighbor? My, <laughs> hey, hey, I I don't have the land. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, if you want to become a member, you cannot become a member of Podcast and Chill. Just click join, and you can get access to all the perks of being a member, like getting early access to all our videos uh, behind the scenes. Mm. You can have a live chat with the ghost lady if you want to. Um, you know, so this mm. cool stuff. Yeah, this uh, you can have um, discount on merchandise. So there's cool stuff that you can check out. Because last week when we dropped Sammy Sosa, if you're a member, you would have checked it the day before we dropped it out. So those are some of the cool stuff that you can oh. do to become a member. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, what did you think of the Sammy nice. Sosa interview? Swat. People, people loved it, man. I got so much good feedback. You know what? In my head, Sammy Sosa is my friend. Is I know it? I literally undermined you. I know last week we me and Lynn were like, oh, okay. And then and then you're literally there trying to convince us that it was an amazing interview. And we really were like, I so one call. But I was blown away. Like, damn. And she was so she scared. She has a story like, and a half. Before I put it up, she was texting me every day, like, yo, how is it? I'm scared. What are people going to say? I'm like, yo, dude. I know my chillers, they just want authenticity. They just want realness. Exactly. And that's what you were yeah. about. So they're going to love it, trust me. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, no. The day I ever see her, oh, yeah. I will hug her yeah. like a friend. All right, ghost lady, send me some millies. I love you long time and let's chat next week. All right. Take care, like kicks, and go and apologize to your, to your girl. I must apologize for doing what? Why must I always yes. apologize? Ah, what did just I do? Just go and apologize. Ah. Ati, just go and apologize. Please, just go and apologize. That's it. And you'll the, be happy. At this <laughs> and rate, then you I'll can be, even watch Too Hot to Handle together. Okay? At this rate, I'll be on Too Hot to Handle SA. <laughs> and are you the one, SA? <laughs> yeah. Zonke. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they bring, you are there. <laughs> I'm there. <laughs> the bachelor, I'm there. Bachelor Red, I'm there. <laughs> I will use less. We're going to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. For more information, visit www.workbox.co.za